it's been a very good um, journey because when we started in the first model, um, the concepts were being brought to us on peace building, inter what interreligious conflict looks like. And coming into the second model, we're taught techniques on how to move forward in being, um, in preferring peace in our communities, uh, as well as being ambassadors indeed of peace. We've had amazing topics. We've looked at what fanatism is, terrorism is, and we've looked at how to develop projects that could bring peace in communities. One of the lessons that we learned talked about social policy change and it talked about two players, you know, in influencing policy or bringing about change. It talked about state parties, it talked about the human element. And it struck me really deep because a lot of times when we consider policy, we're looking at governments, we're looking at systems, we're looking at structures. But that human component where we we put in power to the people and communities and grassroots level is something I really want to explore. That is the bottom to top approach. So I'm going to be engaging different communities, persons with disabilities, of course, because I identify as a woman with disability being that I use a chair. And I would also like to engage with children as peace builders. So these are the concepts that I'm working with with respect to my community peace project. And I'm really grateful that I took on this peace building journey in becoming an ambassador of peace in Kadina Onayakong Foundation of Peace. Thank you and God bless.